Hello. You caught me as I was writing a letter to my Aunt Barb. Sometimes when I write a letter, I like to use a fountain pen and invent an old-fashioned voice in my head that's narrating the words that I'm putting on the page. Dearest Barbara, it's been a fortnight since I last heard word from you. I oft think of the times we played the baby grand piano together. I long for the sounds of the cannon, played in D major. The times we spoke of your garden, and how much you enjoyed the many children joining you for a celebration of Mozart's birthday. Please, Barbara, write me once again. Tell me of your life in Wakanda, Illinois. Wasn't that vulnerable of me to write? You see, when we want to speak with another person we haven't spoken to in a long time or wish to experience an event from our past a second time, this is called longing. For some people, longing means purchasing a stock or security with the expectation that it will appreciate in value over time. But for me, Longing is a way for my brain to cry and for nobody to see it as it happens. I'm so glad you caught me longing to speak with my Aunt Barbara today. It gives me the perfect opportunity to teach you all a little bit about longing. That's funny. I wasn't expecting anybody today. Hello, Jeff. Oh, look! It's Sky, the postman. Hi, Sky. Good to see you, Jeff. Mm, what are you doing here, Sky? Nothing. Just brought you your mail. Oh, thank you. I love getting mail. Well, I best be back on my route. I have so much mail to deliver today. Hey, Sky. Yes? I just want to thank you for bringing my mail to me every single day. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, it's no problem, Jeff. Hmm. Well, I guess I best be on my route. Goodbye, Sky. Hey, Jeff. Oh, look, it's Andrew Fleischer, the expert. Hey, Andrew Fleischer. Why did you teleport into my place today, Andrew Fleischer? Well, this may sound strange, but I was longing to talk with Sky today. Something in my heart made me think he needed me. Hmm, that's an interesting feeling to have. Is he here today? He was, but he had lots of mail to deliver, and so he left. Actually, I'm still here. Hello? Oh, look, it's Sky, the postman. Hey, Sky. Hey, Jeff. What are you doing here? Well... Hey, Sky. Are you doing okay? I had a longing to speak with you today. I'm not gonna lie. I had the same exact feeling. It's It's Nurse Q Nguyen! Thank goodness you are my nurse and we teleport around together. It seems like we long about the same things, too. Spot on, my dear friend. Spot on. Oh, this is such good news, Andrew Fleischer and Nurse Q Nguyen. I actually have felt like I needed to get something off my chest that has been weighing my feelings down. Huh. Can you tell us a little bit about what is going on? Yes. Hey, guys. Hey, Jacob. What are you doing here, Jacob? Well, I teleported in because my heart has been hurting all day and I couldn't figure out why. Perhaps you were feeling Skye's heart hurt. That's why I came here. I felt a longing to talk with Skye. Same here. I'm not surprised you both feel the same way. Yes. Huh. Well, my heart does hurt, but it feels more like the feeling you have when you eat too much bacon. Yeah, so probably not the same reason as everyone else. Okay, well, I guess I best get back on my road. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Sky. No, wait, that's the thing, Jeff. I feel like Sky may need to let his brain cry in front of us. Oh no, is that true, Sky? Yes, I have been longing lately about some stuff. Oh no, I'm not sure how I didn't notice that your brain was ready to cry. 
Can you tell us all a little bit about what your brain needs to cry about? Okay, I think I can. Do you all see this photograph? That's me, 20 years ago, in Mother Russia. Are you all familiar with Mother Russia? No, no we aren't I'm familiar not familiar with, familiar Russia. with Mother Russia. Hey, Sky, would you say that photo creates a number of deep feelings for you, such as longing, sadness, and nostalgia? Yes, indeed. You see, I wasn't always a postman. What were you? Oh my goodness, were you a fireman? No. Shoot. I was not a fireman. Okay. I was much, much worse. I was actually born in a small village in the east of Ukraine. Vladimir Putin had pushed my family roughly 40 clicks from our childhood home. It would be his first attack of what was ultimately to become a genocide of my people. Guys, I'm sorry. I really did eat too much bacon. <sighs> well, my now late Aunt Veronica was very sick. And she spent hours on end tending to her daughters, Sasha and Katarina. Both who were suffering from malnutrition and a rare form of autism. While most people around the world were enjoying their breakfasts and bacon, Jacob. Okay. Our mornings were best described as avoiding KGB raids and shielding ourselves from the rain of heavy artillery from Russian forces above. On my 14th birthday, I came to the realization that I could no longer sit back and let Putin's forces continue to punish us for simply trying to live the normal life we all deserve to be able to live. It was on that birthday when I was not even a few minutes into being 14 years old. I made my first brutal kill. Oh my gosh. It works. <laughs> God, it really worked. Oh, look, it's my good friend, Adam Bartley. Hey, guys. Uh, it's so cool to be here. You've made quite a reality here for yourself, Jeff. Who's that? It's Adam Bartley. He was a lead character on the television show Longmire. I love that show. The show played on AMC, but was eventually moved to Netflix when AMC ditched the show due to subpar ratings. Well, I don't want to be contrary here, but first of all, the show was on A&E. And second, the ratings were pretty good, actually. I think that Netflix was just a better fit for us. That's for sure. I love the ease of their subscription service. And now, for just fourteen ninety nine, Netflix allows you to stream in 4K on up to five televisions at the same time. To be honest, I'm sort of a Hulu guy. So... Y'all have a Hulu subscription? Adam Bartley and I have known each other for a very long time, and he is what I would consider a bastion of joy. It's true. Probably since the beginning of time, actually. Jeff has always been such a good teacher, and now look at him. A big shot. A real celebrity, huh? Like me. I've always wanted to be a celebrity. I know you have. Anywho, I uh, saw Jeff's lesson on teleportation a while back, and I decided I would try it out, and it worked. It's amazing. I mean, I'm a little sweaty from the process, and you know, my body feels a little strained in ways that I haven't felt before, and in ways that I'm not particularly comfortable with, but hey, I teleported. You can't beat that. Congrats. <clears throat> oh, look, it's Sky the Postman. Oh, man, you're my favorite of Jeff's friends. Yes, okay. I thank you. I just, I just really connect with your curiosity and just your desire to enjoy life, you know? Okay, it's okay. I hear what you're saying and it's very cool. Sky was just in the middle of telling us a story about his youth. That's correct. Nice. Well, I don't want to get in the way. I appreciate that, Adam. But now that I have your attention, I was wondering if you all wanted to hear me sing. I'm actually a great crooner. Are you all familiar with crooning? No. No, no tell us more. Tell us more. Yeah, it's a style of singing. It's probably my favorite. And you know, I think I'm pretty good at it. Would you all like to hear me croon? Yes. yes. But 
I was about to tell my story. Awesome. This is a version of a song I've been singing since my childhood. It's about longing for someone that you love. As I was saying, one of Putin's henchmen had entered our hut. I stood behind the door waiting for the right opportunity. As he approached my Aunt Veronica, I jumped on his back and executed him with a three-inch blade I had once used to skin a fish. It's hard to explain the stench that came from the pool of blood on my Aunt Veronica's floor. Sasha and Katarina quietly buried their heads under the hand-knit blanket my late mother Katya had crocheted for them. If they only knew. If they only knew this was just the beginning. For 15 years I evaded the KGB, teaching myself to kill with immaculate precision. 254 Russian soldiers transported from this realm to the God's realm with nothing but these two hands. These two hands right here, a thug, a henchman, a lowly assassin. That's what I am. And yet, I miss you, Mother Russia. I miss you, most of all, my darling. When autumn leaves, start to fall. I've never heard anything like this. I have to say that I've been rendered speechless by that. And you would have to agree, that's unusual for you to have nothing to say. A very good point. I'm moved in a way that certainly would be indescribable to previous ways that I've been moved. What can I say? When you spoke of a brain crying, I knew that I had to tell my story. My story of pain and misery. It was truly the most amazing crooning, Adam. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, to be perfectly honest, I just try to sing from my heart. You certainly did. When we speak of brains crying, I would suggest to you that right now my brain is crying. Mine too. Mine too. Yes, I think it would be safe that everyone here is having a good brain cry. I simply sing the song. I mean, the music my vocal cords make does all the work. You know, I couldn't do what I do without a great audience like yourselves. Oh, Adam, I'm so glad you teleported in today. You really showed us how you can physically make other people's brains cry simply by infusing a lovely, prolonged sound to a slew of words. Well, and I couldn't have shown my vulnerability without you allowing me to reveal my heart. I love that. Well, I best be off. I uh, have a bunch of really cool events to be at in which uh, I get to meet my fans from the hit show Longmire. As we always said on the set of the show, have a great day, partner. See you past the sunset. <laughs> So cool. I'll see you past the sunset, Jeff. Yes, okay, Jacob. If you don't mind, Jeff, I'd love to teleport out from here, if I can. 
Of course. I don't mind. Goodbye, Adam. Bye, Bye Adam. Adam. So, it's clear at this point that I've definitely figured out the teleporting in thing. Not so good yet with the teleporting out thing. Um, and would you mind if I use a door? I'm sure that's not a problem. Perfect. And now, I bid you all adieu. Bye, okay, Adam. goodbye, Adam. Thank you. Well, would you all like to hear the end of my story? Sure. What I learned from my many years of death and pain. He said- Hello? Guys? <laughs> Hi again. Uh, long story short, I think I left my keys on your table. I just need to, uh... Um, look around for a second. I actually didn't think I would need my keys because I teleported here and whatnot. Uh, I'm just gonna retrace my steps. Uh, and you know, it's tough because I know I teleported literally right here. And then I talked with you for a second over here. And I remember I sang that really great song. Adam, maybe you dropped them while you were trying to teleport out. Oh, bingo. That's it. Uh, oh, here they are. All right. Thanks, guys. Well, best get back on my route. Hey, Sky. Yes, Jeff. That sure was a nice story you told today. I... I thank you. You know, speaking of lost keys, have you ever infused a water bottle with fresh fruit? I'd love to teach you about the nutritional benefits of... The, the Jeff's Place podcast was created by Jeff Galfer, Sky Soleil, and Andrew Fleischer and is presented by Angry King Productions. The show is produced by Jeff Galfer, Sky Soleil, Andrew Fleischer, and Evan Shapiro. Written by Jeff Galfer and stars Jeff Galfer as Jeff, Sky Soleil as Sky, Andrew Fleischer as Andrew Fleischer, and Jacob Givens as Jacob. With music by Pete Larney, the saxophonist. Our guest stars for today's episode were George Q. Nguyen as Nurse Q. Nguyen and Adam Bartley. Special Thanks to Adam's backup musicians Joe Monteleone, Robin Sherman, Theo Van Dyke, and Gerald Law II. For more information on Jeff's Place or our production company, please visit jeffsplaceshow.com or angryking productions.com. Hey, 